This picture shows a rainbow simulation using uh, our method. As can be seen, it uh, captures the, the bright uh, primary rainbow as well as a little bit of a supernumerary bow. And you can also see a sort of a faint uh, double rainbow in the picture. This picture shows uh, again the primary rainbow and it also shows the double rainbow. The double rainbow is caused by light reflecting inside the water drop and uh, that causes uh, not only the appearance of the double rainbow, but as you can see, the colors are flipped in the double rainbow, and that's also something that can be captured with the, the new method. This picture shows uh, how uh, the new method is able to simulate not only double rainbows and primary bows, but also the supernumerary bows that are seen as the lines below the primary rainbow. And uh, this is something that the previous techniques based around uh, ray tracing that we're using uh, could not capture and our method is the first to uh, account for this uh, phenomenon which is caused by interference that is the light interacts uh, with itself because the size of the water drops uh, is, uh, are quite small. Now this picture is the exciting picture it shows for the very first time a simulation and thereby explanation of a rare phenomenon known as the twin primary bows. What happens is that there are uh, two types of water drops uh, in the rain. There are some uh, smaller spherical water drops and some larger water drops that become non-spherical because as they fall through the atmosphere uh, the bottom is uh, flattened out. This causes the light to uh, leave the water drop in two different directions and these uh, slightly different directions cause the rainbow to split into two arcs as can be seen in this picture. Uh, until uh, our method was published, no one had been able to really explain this phenomenon and no one had simulated it uh, in 3D before with the full colors as we show here. This picture illustrates the sort of core of our technique. We employ a method called ray tracing where we trace individual photons through the water drop shape. This picture shows uh, our technique in action where we have uh, matched an actual photograph. So the photograph uh, in the background shows a double uh, rainbow uh, on a cloudy day and the insert in the black square shows our simulation how it's able to match exactly the appearance of the rainbow in this photograph. Uh, in this rainbow the water drops are uh, a little bit larger and uh, they're slightly non-spherical so we're able to uh, capture sort of the, the bending of the rainbow in, in this case. And this picture shows a simulation of a, uh, a primary rainbow with supernumerary bows as well as the double rainbow seen above. Uh, this picture shows uh, a uh, significant sequence of supernumerary bows inside a rainbow and the uh, insert shows our simulation of uh, this rainbow 